So you mentioned your book and in your book, you have two terms in there that I would like for you to kind of talk on and speak on a little bit. You had a net spender term and a net saver. What do you mean by these terms? And then what do these terms actually plan out as for each individual person? Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. I've, I've gotten to where I really love talking about net spenders and net savers. Um, and I don't think I've heard a lot of it before. So maybe it's original. Who knows? Yeah. Hey, uh, trademark, trademark. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, so Nets, uh, you know, they're just, they're just two people in the world, you know? And so I have four kids, all four of them are different, right? Yeah. You know, and they came from the same parents. They're just different the way they approach money. Yeah. And, you know, a couple of them are net spenders, a couple of them are net savers. And it doesn't mean that the net spenders are like, they're bad, you know, that they, they have, you know, these you know, that, that they're just awful people. It just means that they don't, they're, they like to spend. That's what's fun is to go, is to have money to be able to go spend it. Yeah. All right. And then net savers really enjoy saving money. And that's awesome. Yeah. You know, if, if you're that person, you're, you know, you don't have to battle that. Yeah. And I have to admit, I'm not that person. Okay. <laughs> I, I like to, I like to spend money. Okay. I'm, you know, Amazon, man, it's awesome. You know? Um, so, so you have to know thyself first. Mm -hmm. And if, if you like to spend, then you need to put some controls in place is all yeah. you have to do. It's not about, you know, just saying, you know, I'm a bad person. It's about just, you know, putting some controls in place. And that means automating, uh, your savings. Yeah. It means, you know, just trying to make it easy on yourself, you know. Don't like, don't try to save up all your cash just in your checking account because you can't do it. True that. You know? Because that money, you know, as soon as it hits your checking account, it's gone. Is what I say. So try to use tricks to save money in other places, you know, where it's kind of away from yourself. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just about kind of tricking yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, I know for me, I I, I love it's a Sun Tzu quote is like. He who knows himself and knows his enemy will win all the battles. He who knows himself but not his enemy will win some battles. He who knows neither himself nor his enemies will lose all the battles. And so, and just yeah. that quote is literally like when you're going up against money, part of it is like, if you, which side do you fall on? Do you like to spend money? Do you like to save money? I fall in the category where it's like, if I have extra money in my bank account, I'm probably gonna throw it inside like, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna buy a stock just because it's yeah. what I, how I spend my money. But my sister is the opposite. If she has some extra money, she's going to buy some shoes. And so she's learned, like, like you said, automate is like, as soon as she gets paid, remove the money into a savings account because that way she doesn't have to think about it. It's somewhere else. She, does, she doesn't even think she has the money at all. And it just makes it a lot more easier to deal with situations that come up. Yeah, it's it's one decision, right? Mm -hmm. To set up that automatic pull every month instead of every single yeah. month having yes. to make a decision to try to. Set, I mean, it just makes sense. It just yeah. makes so much more sense. It's, I think uh, there was a friend of mine who says who put who said uh, sometimes we think that we are so smart and we're so logical that we make good decisions right on the spot, but most of the time we make the decision long before we are presented with the opportunity of whatever is in front of us. And so if we can make that decision and then if we just kind of get in front of the situation, it's just kind of like, oh, this is, I don't even have to deal with this. It just makes a lot of other things fall into place. Well, and that's right. And that's what financial planning is, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why it's so powerful, you know, to project out into the future what this wealth will do for you. Yeah. So that you can see, okay, well, I want to, I want to be here, you know, and I'm, I'm here. What's it going to take to get there? Yeah. You set everything up and then don't worry about it. Forget about it for a while and Facts. then come back and evaluate it maybe in six months or a year. Right. It's yeah. Easy. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of the Rambling Mind podcast. If you want more of the Rambling Mind podcast, or if you want to listen to the whole episode that you just heard, go check it out on any podcast listening platform, whether that be Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Stitcher. I could go on and on, but you guys already know which podcast you love to use to listen to. So go check it out. Link down in the description as well. I'm going to catch you all later. Peace.